All right, Chiefs Kingdom, we've got a busy show coming up here on the Chiefs Report. Before we do that, can you help me out, do me a favor, and share this video? And if you do so on Twitter and follow these steps, I will retweet your tweet, and we could spread the word, show some love. So if you click the share button, then you select the Twitter icon, then you click post to Twitter, assuming you have a Twitter, but before you hit tweet on that post, Tag me, my handle's right there, at HGramNFL. Everyone who does that will get a retweet on Twitter. Show me some love, I'll show you some love. Let's spread the word here on the Chiefs Report. I'm Harrison Graham. Let's get into today's Chiefs report. Could Kansas City sign Yannick Ngakwe, the free agent edge rusher? ESPN has linked Ngakwe to Kansas City, one of the top available free agents remaining at this point in free agency. Here's Bill Bar Barnwell of ESPN saying, a possible deal could be two years, $19 million with the Chiefs. Kansas City is transitioning along the defensive line. Frank Clark was released. Carlos Dunlap is a free agent, and Chris Jones is entering the final year of his deal. George Karloftis is a first rounder in 2020, or was a first rounder in 2022. He'll play a bigger role, and the team added Charles and Minihu in free agency, but it could add at least one more pass rusher to its rotation, which I completely agree with. I like a Minihu. I like Karloftis. I think Michael Dana is a nice rotation player, but. You add Yannick Ngakwe to this pass rush, you're feeling pretty damn good about what you have on your defensive line. Maybe you add an interior piece in the draft. Maybe you bring back Carlos Dunlap for cheap as well. Uh, but uh, I think the Chiefs need another edge and another defensive tackle. I think you add one of each. Uh, I'd like to have one of those be a proven vet like Ngakwe is. And your front four is in good shape, even though you moved on from Frank Clark this offseason. I really do believe uh, that that would be the case. So uh, we'll see if uh, if Brett Veach uh, would be willing to pull the trigger on Yannick Ngakwe. I'll let you guys weigh in first. Should the Chiefs sign Ngakwe, type S for sign or P for pass. Pin comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the ad break, scroll on down and reply to the pin comment with an S for sign or a P for pass. You look at his past four seasons, but really every year in his career, he's been the epitome of consistency when it comes to uh, pass rush uh, production. Eight-plus sacks in all seven seasons of his career. Nine and a half this past year, ten the year before. I mean, he's very, very rock solid. Not a great run stopper, but hey, get another guy in here that can rush the quarterback. Two years and $19 million for eight to ten sacks is a steal, and that is what he has been his entire career, an eight to ten sack guy. He's not T.J. Watt but he's very good. He's a really, really good pass rusher. And you line him up next to Chris Jones, good luck. I mean, that is going to be very tough uh, for opposing defensive lines to deal with. So I'm very intrigued by this. If it's true that you could get him for less than $10 million per year, sign me up. Get Yannick Ngakwe to Kansas City. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button here on the Chiefs Report. Can we get 20 new subs from today's video? Uh, I'll check the number after we publish this video of what we're at. And if we get 20 more uh, subs, uh, 20 or more subs on today's show, we'll show you guys some love tomorrow. We'll have some fun. So 20 new subs. Let's make it happen. More Chiefs news, rumors, free agency, draft coverage here on the Chiefs Report. Let's make it happen on today's show. All right, uh, McCole Hardman heading to the Jets on a one-year $6.5 million contract as uh, this is not surprising, right? Expected that McCole Hardman would leave, but now it is official as kind of the last big notable free agent for the Chiefs has now landed after playing out his rookie contract here. You kind of figured with him having an injury-riddled season, trading for Kadarius Toney, drafting Sky Moore, that McCole Hardman was not going to return. Now, the longer it went on, I, I thought, oh, maybe, you know, if they don't want to swing big for DeAndre Hopkins or OBJ, maybe they bring back uh, Hardman for cheap, but I think it would have had to been cheaper than $6.5 for Kansas City. And, again, Tony and Sky Moore stylistically are similar type of players to McCole Hardman, so not surprised to see him go. He lands with the Jets as their wide receiver room continues to be in flux. We'll explain that side of it in a second, but Hardman to New York on a one-year deal. Guys, Chiefs Super Bowl gear. 
50% off for a limited time only. I checked today. A lot of these items are 50% off right now. T-shirts, hats, hoodies. Go check it out. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. These three items in particular, I know for a fact, are 50% off if you go check that link below today. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. That link is in the description. It's in the comments of today's video. 50% off to celebrate Super Bowl 57. Okay, uh, speaking of uh, McCole Hardman to the Jets, um, the Jets then traded Elijah Moore to uh, the Cleveland Browns. Pick number 42 uh, for Moore and pick 74. So McCole Hardman in, Elijah Moore out as uh, the Jets continue to shuffle. And there had been a rumor from Dan Orlovsky, oh, maybe the Chiefs should go after Elijah Moore. Uh, but now he's off the market. Wide receiver markets dry it up. It's DeAndre Hopkins and OBJ. Now, there might be a couple of surprises here and there. Uh, Jerry Judy's a player that could get moved, but Denver's not going to trade him within the division to, uh, to KC. So if the Chiefs are going to get a proven vet like OBJ or uh, Hopkins, uh, they're probably going to have to do it soon. Otherwise, draft probably becomes the focus at that point because I like the Chiefs' top three guys, Tony, Valdez, Scantling, uh, and Sky Moore, but uh, you lost with Cole Hardman. Justin Watson is gone, or, or he's a free agent. Uh, we'll see if they bring him back. So uh, obviously uh, that's uh, something that uh, you're going to have to figure out if you are Kansas City. And again, it feels like it's Hopkins or OBJ. Um, Albert Breer reports that the Chiefs are interested in both. So could they get both? I doubt they would get both, but maybe they get one. Uh, we'll probably break that down more on tomorrow's show, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So pick a receiver. Who would you rather have? Type DH for DeAndre Hopkins. Type OBJ for Odell Beckham Jr. Pick a receiver and let me know who you would rather have down in the comments section below. Uh, DH for DeAndre Hopkins or OBJ for Odell Beckham Jr. Pick a wide receiver today for Kansas City. All right, uh, before we wrap things up here, uh, one more story to go. Not really a story. Mel Kuyper Jr. Uh, released his latest mock draft uh, for ESPN. We'll be sure to break that down here. He has the Chiefs drafting uh, Felix Edidike Uzoma. Here's a write-up on that from Kuyper. Uh, he's saying there's some buzz among NFL teams about Edidike Uzoma after the NFL Combine. He had a great workout there, and he was super productive in college, racking up 19 and a half sacks over the past two seasons. Kansas City replaced Frank Clark with Charles and Minahue, so Edidike Uzoma likely would be a situational pass rusher as a rookie. And when you look at his career stats, uh, very productive. In 27 games, he basically, basically had a tackle for loss each game, uh, had a sack, uh, like two-thirds of a sack per game with almost 21 there, eight forced fumbles. I watched this guy a lot in the Big 12. Uh, really fun player. He's explosive. Uh, and I think a, as a rotation pass rusher, like Kuyper said, perfect role for him in year one. Kind of like Carl Loftus. Uh, Carl Loftus did, ultimately became basically a full-time starter midway through the year. But you bring him in. Third downs, pass rush, maybe he becomes a starter down the road. I like that quite a bit. A Minahue can kick inside from time to time as well. Uh, I think uh, that could fit the bill for Kansas City and for Edidike Uzoma. Who should the Chiefs draft in round one of the NFL draft? Let me know in the comment section down below who you would like to see Kansas City draft in the first round. Drop a name and let me know who you would like to see that player be. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Remember, share this video on social media, Twitter specifically. If you tag me, at HGramNFL, we will get you guys a retweet right there. There's the steps on how to do so. I am Harrison Graham. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another edition of the Chiefs Report.